Castel Vecchio charges to the lead. 200 metres out. He beat off Prince Fawaz by three quarters of a length. Although he's gained Prince Fawaz. Castel Vecchio are half in front of Prince Fawaz. They've got it between them. But Castel Vecchio, a masterful ride by Craig Williams up on the speed. And it's Castel Vecchio's guineas with Craig Williams riding to the track pattern. He's a terrific two year old, this bloke. Very proud of the horse. It's been a massive effort and very grateful to have such a great horse. He had a great acceleration, he could relax, and he had that great will to win. The Dundee St. Therese, he, he was a lovely little horse. When he came out, he had just great presence about him. He was just an absolutely lovely little ripper of a horse. Very, very nice walker and clean legs, and you know, everything about him was very elegant, actually. I first saw Castle Vecchio when he won the Millennium. It was one of those first races where we hadn't seen before. It was a really big money race, and I saw this horse from out the back of the field storm home, and I thought, this horse is a, a horse with a big future. He was so wide, and he was back, but he was flying. And I looked, and, and just on the fence, there was about 10 Arrowfield staff all looking around the corner, and they started cheering, and I just put my head down and thought, no, this can't, this can't be true. Castel Vecchio right over the top has come from last. Castel Vecchio blew away accession. When I heard Darren Flindell call his name, I thought, my God, he's going to get home. Champagne Stakes Day was, was, a, was a really good day. It was another one of those days that sort of all just everything fell into place. And I remember watching Damien Lane scooting along in front and, and Castel Vecchio a lot closer than what he usually runs. And, you know, I, I was quite confident, quietly confident to myself. And again, I was way up at the 200, 250 metre mark watching it by myself. And when he flew past me, I knew, I knew no one was going to get him. Castel Vecchio heading top gear. And Castel Vecchio charges away now in the champagne. Loving Gabby, but ultimately won the race for second. To get a two year old to win a group one over miles, no, not, not easy to do. And, you know, it was, it was pretty special and you know, all my life I dreamed to have horses in Group 1s and, you know, to, to have him, you know, at that time was amazing. Ready to run, signal and they're racing. Very His performance in that Cox Plate would win all Cox Plates, par that one. I couldn't have been happier with the way that he, he, he maintained a really good forward position. He's actually right on the bridle in that race, he was freshened up nicely. And then when the pressure came on, he just towed me. Around the turn, I only slipped in a little bit of rain and he really responded nicely. He just kept lengthening for me. I was going a really good gallop and I was surprised that I had a horse that could actually go straight past him. Running second to her was, was amazing. Um, you know, she's obviously world class, one of the best horses in the world. And, and uh, you know, we, we made a hell of a race of it and he put the pressure on early and, and, you know, she had to catch us and to be beaten two lengths by her was pretty amazing. I think he'll be a great stallion actually, he, he's got all the attributes for it and you know he's got a very very big fanfare too, a lot of trainers like him and you know a lot of people around Australia like him so I'm sure he's going to be very successful. He's a horse that was extremely relaxed, he had a great mannerisms but he had that great acceleration because he saved it for that part of the race. Once he started stepping out past 1600, he was a dominant force. Arrowfield, you know, uh, uh, the best stud in Australia and you know, it's wonderful for them um, to be able to buy one of their progeny back to stand back at Arrowfield and, you know, they, they put a lot of effort into their horses and they've got plenty of good broodmares there so I'm sure he's going to be a good stallion.